Good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to the North Country Trail. Um, for a uh, six, yeah, it should be a six day, um, 70 mile hike uh, out and back. Uh, this will be roughly, you know, 35 miles from um, the starting point, which was the um, Munising Falls Visitor Center uh, to um, my campsite, which I'm permitted for, which is uh, the Asable, uh, Asable Point East tent site. <sighs> um, then uh, get there on day three, we'll turn around and we'll hike back. Whew. Oh boy, nice uphill here. Um, beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day for hiking. Actually, it's warmer than I planned for. I was watching the weather all week and it was in yeah, low 60s. And uh, today, uh, the sun is out, blue skies. I mean, it was cloudy this morning. When I started, but uh, <clears throat> get those poles to stay. But right now it is just, it is just absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you, show you around. Okay, let's flip the camera. All right, so here's where we're standing, about halfway up. Uh, small climb, not that bad, but my pack's heavier than normal. So, and day one, I'm still getting used to it. But uh, just, the sun is out. It's crazy. That's the hill I gotta go up. If you look, just blue skies everywhere. Absolutely beautiful. So, um, today day one, is, uh, is, is short. Um, it's supposed to be 5.1 miles from the Munising Falls Visitor Center, um, which is where the North Country Trail actually uh, st st changes from uh, a huge road walk to uh, actually trail. And it started with a small detour, so I ended up on a road walk anyways. Uh, whew. Oh boy. Uh, I gotta do more of this. I'm out of shape, big time. Um, and so yeah, 5.1 miles to, uh, it's called the Cliffs uh, Backpack Campsite. Uh, so I'll be staying there for the first night. And then, uh, then day, day two is uh, bigger miles, but um, I don't think it's gonna be as up and down, because this is just getting us to the top of the cliff. Um, drove in last night, which was a nice drive. Really kind of easy, just overcast. Weather wasn't too bad. And then uh, I stayed at the Rome Inn, and uh, what a really nice, just quaint uh, little hotel. I mean, um, it was quiet, uh, easy access in and out from my room to the car to get all my stuff. And then uh, continental breakfast, coffee, bagels, cereal, uh, yogurt, all that stuff. Um, and uh, Aaron and Brittany over there are just uh, just good people. Um, very, very accommodating. Uh, you know, they even offered to... Uh, allow me to leave the car there uh, while I hike the six days because I'll be returning back to the Roman um, on May 30th for a uh, for a photography workshop um, four days of land landscape photography with uh, with a Michigan native and professional by the name of Neil Weaver if you haven't haven't seen his work um, Check it out, guys. Guys, really good. Uh, Neil, I think it's NeilWeaverPhotography.com. Um, yeah, stellar stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. You may notice if you look 
uh, around. Uh, things look a little different. That's not green, that's blue. Um, you haven't gotten your, your eyesight's fine. Uh, we're doing a, a, a new pack. This is a, a Gregory Baldora 75 liter because I have a bunch of stuff in it. Um, mainly photography gear, um, which, added, which added a quick five to seven pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling a little bit, but um, I lightened everything else up. And the other thing you see besides my, uh, my GPS, you can see there's the trusty Nikon attached to, uh, attached to my pack with uh, a, new, a new device called the Capture by a company called Peak Design. And uh, it's, it's really, really slick, lightweight, attaches to your pack, and uh, your camera mount just slides in and out. And it's a standard mount, so it'll fit in any, uh, almost any tripod, which uh, works out really, really good. Um, so yeah, we got some, tweaked a few things. Um, we'll go through some of those as, uh, as we go through the hike. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely excited. Um, feels good. Again, just one, be away from the craziness, the madness, the insanity, and the monotony of the office. Just absolutely mad. We're so busy right now. Uh, we got three new locations coming online. We uh, got a ton of work because of the acquisition and uh, just unstoppable. I think I did probably the last three weeks, 60, 70 hour weeks easy. I would literally come home from the office, get home, lay down on the couch, sleep for an hour and a half, get up, go get dinner. And while I was at dinner, I had my notebook in front of me and just working away. I mean, 11, 11, 30, 12, 30 at night, sending emails, getting caught up on documentation. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's required. And uh, it's part of the job, that's what I get paid to do. But um, man, really made me look forward to, uh, to this trip. And uh, I'm, I made sure everybody knew Look, guys, I'm off the grid, man. Um, and, uh, yeah, my cell coverage died probably about, yeah, less than a half mile. Uh, half mile in another hike. So, um, I'm just going to keep going. Probably about halfway done here. I don't even think I'm going to stop for lunch. I'm just going to go straight through, set up camp, and uh, have, have lunch there because it should be easy. But definitely going to take my time, snap uh, some great photographs if I can. I'll get some... Uh, trail uh, some trail footage as well and uh, hopefully we have a, a really 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 uh, great adventure these six days um, I can tell you weather wise uh, the forecast looks okay decent and like spotty rain showers like maybe like rain showers in the morning and then the Sun comes out rain showers at night that kind of thing uh, except for Tuesday Tuesday, they're predicting thunderstorms. I don't know how that's going to shake out because I'll be, uh, I'll be right in the middle on the way back. And uh, if it gets really crazy, I mean, you just have to hunker down somewhere and look out, stay away from the trees, I guess. So, uh, but, uh, but other than that, I think the weather's, good. like I said, the weather's really going to be cooperative. And, um, should be just should just be a great great six days on the trail all right hmm well we run into these every once in a while right, let's see so we're just going down hiking along the trail and whoosh you run into a nice i mean it's not a huge puddle and they've clearly laid this log here for you to get from this side to that side but uh, you know, you do have to uh, do have to stop and actually use both hands and uh, not be holding an iPhone uh, while you're uh, and recording video while you're doing it. The last thing you want is uh, video evidence that you've actually slipped and tripped and fell into the mud while on trail.
<sighs> Time for some dinner. What's in the menu, you ask? Mountain House. Savor the adventure. Tonight we're having beef stew. And I'm so looking forward to it. Oh, what a day. So, I am sitting, um, at an overlook spot um, right next to what's called the North Country Trail Headquarters. Um, right here on, on the lake. It's pretty awesome. Um, my, uh, my camp is just unbelievable. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a, in a little bit. Um, I just wanted to come down here and sit on a picnic table because um, I don't really have anywhere to, like, the, the camp area, there's really nowhere to sit. But um, there's a reason I picked it in the meal seat anyways. So, um, I'm not sure <coughs> um, how the miles line up because I, uh, I hiked way more than 5.1 miles and um, the, uh, the campsites weren't, um, weren't marked so I hope I'm in the right spot I don't know we'll see but I put my tent up and I put my permit on my tent so I should be okay um, might do a little change of plans um, hike back uh, to Munising Falls um, Visitor Center and uh, <coughs> that will uh, that, that'll that complete that section but I might um, jump in my car, drive my car over here so it's closer, and then um, definitely lighten up the pack. Pack's uh, still way, still way too heavy. So, um, and it's it's new, I'm getting used to it. I don't know. It's uh, it's just different. So, um, all in all, beautiful, beautiful day, great day, and uh, I, I I know when I <laughs> when I get back there and. Uh, I uh, actually uh, crash and uh, fall asleep. I am gonna be sleeping like a baby. Um, again, weather just absolutely beautiful. It's been sunny for the entire afternoon. Um, temperature, yeah, maybe 70, 72. Uh, there were times when it felt hotter. I'll be honest, with you, I was dying. Uh, I went through three liters of water and uh, and. Man, it was supposed to be 5.1 miles, but it ended up being almost um, almost eight, I think. Um, I have to check and see what the uh, what the uh, in reach says, but um, all in all, definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. So uh, that's it for now. We're going to uh, mix our uh, mix our food up and have some dinner, and then we'll uh, we'll check in with you guys later on. Mm. Ah, good evening. So we just. Uh, just finished up dinner, and we got about, I don't know, yeah, half a mile back to the camp, campsite. Um, <clears throat> so, let's talk about Mountain House's uh, beef stew. Um, damn tasty, I'm gonna be honest with you. However, the, uh, the recipe calls for 16 ounces of water and you don't need 16. You could probably get away with, I don't know, 10, 12 tops. Just way too much. Way too much uh, liquid when you're done. And when water is, uh, water is at a premium, <laughs> You, uh, you don't want to waste any, um, especially since you carried it all that way. <clears throat> but all in all, good stuff. So what you see behind me is the North Country Trail 
headquarters here um, at I guess the end of Miners Road it's called and then there's a scenic overlook which I'm going to walk us to and uh, take some video so you can you can see the view I'm looking at all right here we go Oh, we're not hiking back to Sand Point. We're going about oh, half a mile, <clears throat> half a mile back to uh, to where I pitched my tent with the absolutely epic view, which uh, I really can't wait to to show you. It's uh, it is something else. Anyways. So, that was the view from the scenic outlook at the North Country Trail headquarters um, outside of Munising, Michigan. And as you can tell, it is just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, the trails, you can see we're walking, we're hiking here. Uh, it's uh, in pretty pretty good shape I mean for the most part um, this is what it looks like it won't be like this for the whole trip I know we're expecting rain um, <clears throat> unless they have to forecast I really don't hope I mean they're calling for thunderstorms on Tuesday I hope that's not the case because uh, thunder's bad I mean rain I can deal with the thunder you just can't get away from lightning um, so that may Depending on how that all shakes out, that may change things a little bit as well. So, as I was saying at dinner, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hike back the, what they call 5.1 miles, but it's not. Uh, and um, grab the vehicle and leap forward to where I just was. Uh, to the uh, to, to the NCT headquarters and um, park it there, and uh, then I'll be able to. Uh, um, it'll, it'll be a shorter distance coming back off the trail. Um, the thing is, that kind of kind of messes things up a little bit because. Um, I had scheduled to do 18 miles um, tomorrow to get to the, it's called Pine Bluff Camp area for backpack campers. Um, and I don't see, I don't see that happening. Um, I mean, if I, if I did pull it off, I mean, I would get there probably just about nightfall um, so I may have to may have to regroup and going back to the uh, Munising Falls uh, Visitor Center there's a park ranger there so I might be able to just change my change my reservation for tomorrow instead of making it Pine Bluff make it one Closer. I don't know. I have to have to figure it out. So I think I think that's gonna be a plan. It'll uh, be easy on the legs. To be honest with you, they're uh, definitely definitely feeling it today. Um, not too bad right now. But, um, the pack's fully loaded, and you're going uphill. Man, just lights my quads up like crazy. Uh, like I said earlier. So out of shape. So I'm going to uh, go and stop video recording here, and uh, 
the next time we catch up, it should be at the campsite. See you in a bit.